edit and paste. There it goes. Yes, gonna work now. Yeah. There it all is. There it is, like 19 pages. And you can start modifying whatever. But the first yeah. thing to add is that the, the nice thing is that all the headings are kept and uh, OpenOffice understands the headings. So yeah. let's say we're gonna add here, we we'll remove this, and we're going to add an index. Yeah. So insert table of contents. Where was that? Indexes and tables. Indexes and tables. And then we'll say table of contents. Table of contents. We'll see whether we this straight away produce it. There it is. Here it is. Straight from Techie. Yeah, from into the, Open Office. Yes, then you get all the same level of yeah. uh, headings. Yeah, you could add wherever this is my, this is my documentation of tutorials. Uh, then you can add just we'll do just the minimum thing to you show. Shall. Yeah, like uh, insert the foot. Oops, the footer, and we'll add here the pages like insert number of pages let's say for instance number of pages and the total so we have that's great yeah. so so in summary you're using tiki wiki as a way of producing a documentation yeah. that allows lots of people to work on the document yeah that's right and if you try to do that in open office, everyone knows how difficult that is because you've got to keep copying the document from person to person. Yeah. So only one person can write in it at any one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Whereas in TikiWiki, you can have everybody working on it all at the same time. Yeah. And then at the end, when you want to produce a print, you can bring it out into open office, carry on formatting, print it out. You've got the best of both worlds, yeah. just like that. Yeah, that's perfect. And any other change you make, you could, you could think then, okay, give me the open office document that we will make some changes. But yeah. you have to be careful because if you start, if you start doing that, then you go back to, the, to that uh, position in which there is only one single document that everybody is requested and to make really changes. And it's really slow and difficult. Then. No, so that from that time to make changes, the best way to go is to go to your ticket site make some changes, and whenever you want to make another PDF or whatever, repeat the same procedure, yep. take that out and print it. And two so people can take the document out at the same time and, and format it in different ways. Yeah, that's but right. you've both got the information. Yeah. Thanks so, ever so much. Yeah. Okay, perfect. From here, just produce the PDF and that's finished.